Hi everybody. Welcome to Ordinary Differential Equations, the mathematical framework and tools for understanding, modeling, and predicting anything that moves. Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, I want to finish up Chapter 8 by talking about what is common amongst the three examples of bifurcation that I've considered already, saddle no, transcritical, and pitchfork, and how we can uh, come up with a definition of bifurcation. Okay, so in these examples, we have seen that a necessary but not sufficient condition for bifurcation of a fixed point is for, for the fixed point to be non-hyperbolic. That's a linear condition. So linear analysis determines whether or not the fixed point can bifurcate. So if it can bifurcate, what does that mean in terms of change of the number of solutions? Well, the nature of the bifurcation, I put that in quotes because we need to uh, flesh that out a bit, is determined by the form of the nonlinearity. So, whether or not bifurcation can occur, that's we pick of, of a fixed point, the equilibrium point, we need to check the linear behavior, whether it's hyperbolic or not, but the evolution of the fixed points from the bifurcation point, we could put it that way, is determined by the nonlinear terms. Just go back and look at the three examples, saddle node, transcritical, and pitchfork, and see how the nonlinear terms were different in those cases. So we could try to come up with a definition for bifurcation of a fixed point of a one-dimensional autonomous vector field. And be very precise and not over claim for what we've done. So we consider a one-dimensional autonomous vector field depending on a parameter mu. We assume that at a certain parameter value it has a fixed point that is not hyperbolic. We say that a bifurcation occurs at that non-hyperbolic parameter value if for mu in a neighborhood of the parameter value the number of fixed points and their stability changes. So for saddle node, we go from 0 to 1 at the non-hyperbolic point to 2. For transcritical, we have 2 to 1 at the non-hyperbolic point to 2. For pitchfork, we go from 1 to 1 at the non-hyperbolic point to 3 thereafter. Okay, so it works for my examples. But now let's get back to this comment that I said non-hyperbolicity is a necessary but not sufficient condition. Have a look at this one-dimensional vector field depending on the parameter mu. Looks a bit like the pitchfork, except mu does not multiply x. Mu stands alone. So there is a curve of fixed points we can easily show. And if we compute the Jacobian for any fixed point, it's minus 3x squared. So it's negative everywhere except at x equals 0. So the point is, the point x equals 0, mu equals 0, is a non-hyperbolic fixed point. But no, there's no change of stability for anywhere on this curve as we go through that. It's changes stability or in the number of fixed points. All right. Good. So we'll end there. I'll say a few words about the problem set at the end of the chapter, and then we will go on to chapter 9, which is more about bifurcation of equilibrium. So bye for now.